Sayyidina question. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Is what the Shia say regarding uh, Lady Fatima to Zahra salamu alayha true? Namely, the following true uh, is that she claimed some land called Fadak as her own property and it was stolen by the first two caliphs. That's the first part of the question. Of course it is a truth. Of course Fatima alayhi salam demanded her right in Fadak. What is Fadak? Fadak was a garden owned by the Prophet. Allah ordered the Prophet وَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهِ Give your relative their right. When Allah ordered the Prophet, Allah's order made the Prophet call Fatima and the Prophet gifted Fadak to Fatima. Fatima became the owner of that big garden, Bagh Fadak. The Prophet was alive. And Fatima had her own farmers, workers, laborers working in that garden and they used to bring for her the income from mm -hmm. Fadak and she used to spend it on the charity and the poor and helping people. <coughs> when the Prophet passed away and Saqifa took place. The people of Saqifa went and put their hands on Fadak and got all the farmers and laborers and workers of Fatima out. They wanted Fatima to have no income. Fatima said that this is mine. My father gifted me this during his life. Abu Bakr challenged Fatima and told her, who said that the Prophet gave you this? Just imagine. Who said? Means when Fatima says, anyone can doubt Fatima? There's a question in front of every Muslim. When Fatima, who was <coughs> the part of the Prophet, Bad'atun minni, part of me, when she says, me the Prophet said, Fatima is the lady that when she is pleased with someone, Allah is pleased with him. And when she is unhappy with anyone, Allah is unhappy with him. Yardallahu li ridaha. In Bukhari itself, in Bukhari, the Prophet said in the hadith which is narrated in Bukhari, he said that Fatima is part of me. If she is pleased, I am pleased. If she is angry, I am angry. Fatima came and demanded her right, her ownership. She was denied her right. She was asked to bring witnesses. <coughs> she brought witnesses. Those who witnessed the Prophet giving her Fadak. Ali ibn Abi Talib. His witness was rejected by the people of Saqifa. Why? They said, he is your husband. 
Of course he will give witness in your favor. Do you think that he will lie? Astaghfirullah. First question, how come you ask Fatima for witness? Don't you believe in what the Prophet said about Fatima? If the Prophet himself says something, do you ask him to bring witness? Or you believe him? Fatima is part of the Prophet. You ask witness from persons who may say something away from the truth. When you need a proof, you ask witness. Your father, your own father, if you trust your father, and your father tells you something, will you ask him, bring witness? Will it be polite to ask your father to bring witness? Means you don't trust him, simply. You don't ask witness from a person whom you trust. Fatima, who is according to the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Sayyidat Nisa, Ahl al Jannah, the best, the master of all the ladies in the paradise. She is a master of Maryam, master of every lady in the paradise. That is in the hadith, which is narrated also in Bukhari. When they refused the witness of Ali ibn Abi Talib, she brought Al Hassan and Al Hussein, who witnessed the gift of the Prophet to Fatima. Their witnesses were rejected. And they said, They are children. She brought Um Ayman. Her witness was rejected, being a woman. They did not want to give Fatima her right. She said, if you claim that it is not mine, after all, it is my father's property. And I am his only daughter. So it is my right. The wives, all the wives, are a part. But even in the wives here, there's a question of whether the wife inherits from land or not. But after all, Fatima is the only daughter of the Prophet. It is my inheritance from my father. So what they replied her, one of them said, I heard the prophet saying that we, the prophets, do not leave any inheritance. We don't leave an inheritance. She told him, the prophet told you and did not tell me I'm his daughter. The matter concerns me, not you. If he told you, he should have told me as well, because it concerns me. Of course, everyone knows that it was never said by the Prophet, it was fabricated. You see, we have in Sunni books, that Ali ibn Abi Talib and Fatima and Al-Abbas, the uncle of the Prophet, went to Abi Bakr. Fatima asked for her 
right in the inheritance of the Prophet. Abu Bakr said, the Prophet said that the Prophets don't leave inheritance. Imam Ali replied him by a Quranic verse. Oh, what is that? Suleiman Dawood. Suleiman inherited his father David Dawood. Yarithuni wa yarithu min Ali Yaqub. Imam Ali gave Quranic verses to refute the claim that the Prophet said something against Quran. Abu Bakr said, إِنَّهُ هَكَذَا Whatever I say is the right. You bring Quranic verses or you don't bring anything. Whatever I say is what will happen. Which means even the Quranic verses have no effect in this conversation. If you go to Bukhari, Book of Bukhari, the Book of Bukhari has got a hadith that Fatima came and demanded her inheritance from the Prophet. Abu Bakr refused to give her. She became angry on him. فغضبت. فوجدت عليه فلم تكلمه she got angry on him and she did she stopped talking to him till she died till she died and this narration is narrated in Bukhari from Aisha daughter of Abu Bakr so what we say is not a claim, it is the fact. That's why you find that when Abu Bakr was dying, when he was dying, <coughs> he said, three things I committed in my life I wish I did not. وَدَدْتُ أَنِّي لَمْ أَكْشِفْ بَيْتَ فَاطِمَةِ I wish I did not attack the house of Fatima. Which means that the house was attacked. So, we say that Fatima عليه السلام was the owner of Fadak. Fadak was under the control and management of Fadak, of Fatima alayhi salam, and Fatima was getting the income of it and giving to the poor. Saqifa people, mainly Abu Bakr and Umar, took that from Fatima when she said that if you deny that it is mine, then it is my father's and I am his only daughter. They refused to give her inheritance. That's why you find in Tariq Tabari that Aisha and Hafsa, both of them, Aisha, daughter of Abu Bakr, Hafsa, daughter of Umar, both of them came to Uthman when Uthman became the ruler in Medina. 
they saw Uthman giving a lot of money to his family members, Bani Umayya, his tribe, his relatives. Lot of money. They came and they demanded their right from the inheritance of the Prophet. The narration says that Osman was lying on the wall when he heard both of them demanding their inheritance, he sat he sit in straight way and he said, didn't you and she, didn't you both come and both of you gave witness against Fatima to deprive her from her inheritance? You gave witness that the Prophet does not leave any inheritance to deprive Fatima from her inheritance. And now you are coming to demand inheritance for you from the Prophet. Then what was your witness against Fatima? If your witness was right, then you have no right. If you gave Right witness that the Prophet does not leave any inheritance, then as you deprive Fatima from her right, you also will not have any right in any inheritance from the Prophet. Now you are coming to demand inheritance, means your witness that was... Anyway, so both of them became angry with Uthman and... Aisha shouted at him and she started saying kill him she gave him nickname of a Jewish man in Medina she gave Uthman a nickname of a Jewish person his name was Na'thal so she named him after a Jewish man and he said uqtulu Na'thalan Allah, may Allah kill him. Kill Uthman, kill Na'thal. May Allah kill him. What we say is the truth. The right of Fatima was taken forcibly, wrongly by Saqifa people. Of course, they wanted to deprive her from her income <coughs> and they wanted to deny any fact that she says. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Sayyidina, for that beautiful and detailed answer. Uh, we have a caller with us. Thank you for waiting. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. to you and Mansa. Thank, Thank, Thank you very wa much, wa much for waiting, brother. Thank you very much. Mashallah. Wa very, very nice um, answer or speech you just given. Fantastic. Um, to the um, second part of the brother's question regarding the funeral uh, of Lady Fatima to Zahra Alaiha being done at night and not many Muslims attended. Is it? Can you clarify this? Of course. Fatima Alaiha Salam was buried during night because of her own will she did not want to allow those who did wrong to her and to her husband and to Ahlul Bayt and to Islam to take part in her funeral she said what finni laylan and you find the evidence that Fatima was buried during night time. You find it in Sunni books as well. In Sunni books as well. If you hold on with me for a few seconds, I will inshallah ta'ala give you the evidence, evidence from Sunni books. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wali Muhammad. Okay. Uh, 
In the book of Bukhari, book of Bukhari, hadith number 3913, note down. Hadith number 3913. The hadith says that when Fatima السلام, passed away, she was buried by her husband Ali ibn Abi Talib night time and she did not allow Abu Bakr to attend or Abu Bakr was not being allowed to attend her funeral. That is in Sahih Muslim. In Bukhari. In Muslim, hadith number 3304 that Fatima was buried during night and Abu Bakr was not allowed to attend her funeral. Why? She wanted all Muslims to know what injustice was done against her. Till today, we don't know where is exactly her qabr, shrine. We know the shrine of the Prophet, the shrine of uh, other Imams, but we don't know the shrine of Fatima alayhi salam because of her suffering and it should remain in all generations that Fatima the daughter the only daughter of the Prophet who was part of him was victimized in such way that she was buried night time very few Muslims attended her funeral her Qabr shrine is unknown to us all these remind us about her great sufferings Thank you very much indeed, Sayyidina. Uh, question, Assalamu alaikum. I would like to know if I can hold.